time, Squeakers. What are you doing? Are you daddy's girl? Squeakers, you want some coffee? You want some coffee? So, uh, today is Monday, and that means if it's Monday, we want to do an update on our uh, visits with the homeless. Monday, what did we call Monday for playlists? A heart for the homeless. So, we are going to just take you through what has happened with uh, some of the things I've been doing downtown with the homeless. Now, one unfortunate thing is, you know, I was in a staged play reading for a play called Shelley, which is about how you and I, how people react when they see homeless people in the street, whether they're passed out or sleeping or panhandling or whatever. And I was excited because I met the playwright and, you know, we were going to, we scheduled rehearsals and everything. But then I found out that it was going to conflict with another play that I'm in, which is The Rock of Ages. And so unfortunately I had to turn that down. And, you know, when you make a commitment to something, you got to stick to it, you know. And, and that was sort of the big thing was I committed, I signed a, a contract to be available for rehearsals for the Rock of Ages and that's where my priority lies. So unfortunately I didn't get to work with a, an awesome playwright but I look forward to the future and so really when it comes to the homelessness I went last week and I spent some time with my friend John who lives in his van with his dog Tyson and you know I believe that the big guy upstairs will definitely lead you in this life and he led my wife and I to help him in a way that we could. It wasn't a big deal but uh, I've had people breathe life into me. You know there's been people who have come out of nowhere to help me with a, a bill payment or something like that you know and I think you know the big guy upstairs for coming through when I couldn't do it on my own <coughs> you know one of the greatest detrimental you know stumbling blocks in life is pride you know when you're too proud it's one thing to have an expectation of yourself but don't burden yourself with uh, things that you just cannot do on your own we live in a world where people are supposed to help people and so it was kind of a, a lay down my pride moment for Frederick because I had to let people in to help me. And, uh, you know, I'm thankful to have a gift of friends or family to support me in my time of need, even when my pride wants to battle me and say, no, you can do this on your own, Frederick. Because the truth is, you know, it's humbling to accept help. And, and then I think you become a better person. Your character gets built because all of a sudden it's not just me, myself, and I. It's about allowing other people to breathe life into you. So we turn that around and then we breathe life into other people. So I'm just going to show you uh, a few video clips that I taped when I was going to visit. Uh, last week and and essentially that's what this YouTube channel is becoming the Ruah means breath of life and as life is breathed into me and through whatever means that could be because I, I enjoy theater but if I can get some TV and film work that would be great I, I like to read some books watch movies you know play games with my wife and hang out with my pets and you know play sports and hang out with you know former addicts you know and just connect with people and that all kind of breathes life into me but it's no good if I just keep it to myself I like to turn that around and breathe life into others so you know I, I, I make lunches for the homeless and I take it out you know I keep a, a few dollars in my change jug in my vehicle I keep socks and jackets in my vehicle and I hand them out wherever I can I take bottles in I just go and I hang out with people who live on the streets, you know, coffee, have a cigarette, visit with them, you know, and it's cool to be able to build relationships, to build friendships, 
and you know when they see my vehicle pull up they know that oh, okay a friendly face a friend you know somebody I can sit down and talk to so we helped out John last week with one of his bills and uh, you know for a person who lives in their van some of their insurance bills are pretty important you know and when they're in their 70s it ain't easy to go get work so let's just have a look at some of the video recordings um, from last week and this will be your update for having a heart for the homeless playlist all right I'll be right back after we watch some of these okay my friend well hello my friends it's Frederick here and I'm just headed over to uh, the gas station because my friend John one of my homeless friends he lives in his van and he doesn't have any propane so let's head over there and hey let's just help him out and put some propane in there for him all right let's go do that I'm driving on the way to the gas station but I just thought I'd let you guys know that I came in this morning and I spent some time at the treatment center it's a residential recovery for addicts and uh, I hung out with them a little bit and then I went and I met up with some of my homeless friends and I met Dan again this morning. I met a new guy named Thomas and I handed out some granola bars. And I had a few bucks, gave him a few bucks and had a coffee with them, a visit. And um, I sat down and I had a coffee with John. You're gonna meet John one day. He's still a little uncomfortable with the video camera, which is fine. And uh, I'm hoping, you know, we can find a time where he can come out to my place and just, you know, use the shower, have a bath, because when you live out on the streets or you live in your vehicle, you know your skin gets rough and hard. So uh, I'm hoping to bless him that way. But in the meantime, um, I'm just going to go put some fuel, some propane in his vehicle. And, uh, and then I'm going to go hang out with uh, some other friends of mine. And uh, you're welcome to come along. So this is Frederick. And let's go... Uh, pull in here at the gas station. All right, so here we are. I'm at the gas station. I'm not uh, interviewing anybody right now, but I just wanted to let you see, because I can't see, but behind me, John is fueling up. But here's the thing about Ruah breathing life into the world. You know, I came in to spend some time with my friend John, who lives in his van back there. All right, see you, John. So that's John, he's headed on his way here. Um, but here's the thing. I uh, I actually didn't even fuel him up. I have a friend, Yuha, which you've met in other videos, and um, he actually threw me $20, and we put $20 of propane in John's vehicle because he lives there, you know? And when, when you're on a fixed income and you live in your vehicle, life's tough. So in the meantime, we'll visit John later. And I think... One of the most important things to remember is we don't do good deeds because it makes us feel good, but we do it. All right, my friend. That's my friend, John. See you, brother. We, we are people helping people. When you understand what it's like to be broken and you're down and out on your luck and you've had that experience, you know, you know what it's like to have somebody reach out to you and breathe life into you. And so essentially that's all I'm doing. I'm paying it forward. You know, the blessings that have been given to me, people have helped me out. So I wanna do what I can to help people out. So if that means putting $20 gas, going for coffee, hanging out, visiting, handing sandwiches out, you know, I'm gonna do that. And, and the thing is, you can do that too. No matter where you live, no matter how rich, how poor, whatever gifts, talents, I mean, really, the biggest barrier is taking the risk to go and meet somebody, you know, to say, hey, my name's Frederick and you know, I have uh, some sandwiches. You know, would you like a coffee? Uh, you're picking bottles. I got some bottles. Here, I have a couple dollars in my change bin to help you out. So, what you're seeing on this YouTube channel is my life story. I understand that. But it's me living life every day to the fullest. And, and you get to see how, you know, the big guy upstairs has blessed me so I can be a blessing to others. You know, that's what this t-shirt's all about. Ruah, breath of life. And, and, you know, I've said this before. You might not have maybe the schedule in your life. You might be a parent. You, you know, you might be a student. You, you just might be 
in a situation where you don't think you can make a difference? Well, sometimes it's in that that you find opportunity that like, oh, I'm broken and I'm struggling in my relationship, so I can't help anybody. I don't agree with that. I think if you're struggling in relationships, you're the perfect person to maybe sit down and talk to somebody about relationships. And for me, I've noticed that financially, I struggle. I'm in debt. I don't have a full-time job. But the blessings that God gives me, I can take some of that and, and pour out into someone else's life. And that is what Ruah is about. It's about breathing life into other people. So I'm going to go and uh, spend the next hour talking to one of my friends, Yuha. And then you keep watching the YouTube channels and you can decide what you want to watch. Every Monday we do an update on how Frederick is, you know, sharing his blessings. But also I have a heart for the homeless. So Mondays you turn, you come into the YouTube channel on Mondays and you're going to get an update about what's been going on. Also, those of you who are watching know that I'm an actor. I like theater. I like TV and film. I'm learning to perform um, as a career, it's very hard. Um, but Tuesdays, I update you on my journey to Hollywood. And, you know, every day I like to put a video out there that has a little inspiration. And sometimes I sit down with a coffee and I watch a movie. And just keep tuning in and you're going to find something that you like. All right, this is Frederick Nelson Munowich from Ruah is the Breath Alive saying I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.